Thanks to its party-friendly LAN play and features that were formerly reserved for PC shooters, Halo quickly became the quintessential first-person console experience. Halo 2 brought an entire country of gamers together, literally, through its online multiplayer support on Xbox Live. Now, things have come full circle with the Windows Vista release of Halo 2. With expectations on the PC a little higher than in Consoleville, can this juggernaut take a chunk out of the big boys? Chief, get inside, gear up. We're taking this fight to the surface. Halo 2 is the continuation of the saga of Master Chief, Spartan 2 Project Super Soldier, and all-around savior of the galaxy. Tell that to the Covenant. Thanks to his efforts in the first game, the complete destruction of the Halo super weapon is met with a hero's welcome back on Earth. On the other side of the universe is a less receptive homecoming. One of the surviving Covenant elite faces punishment for his incompetence, but receives one last chance for redemption by taking on the role of Arbiter, the Covenant Prophet's own executor. What would you have your Arbiter do? As it turns out, the destroyed Halo was not the only one in existence. The Prophets send the newly anointed Arbiter out to activate Halo Delta, believing it to trigger the Covenant's passage to salvation. Word of the Covenant's counter-assault gets to Earth, and after the shortest vacation ever, Master Chief must rid the world of the interplanetary invaders. If you played Halo 2 on the Xbox, then there's nothing new to see here. The game still ends with the same painful cliffhanger, and there are no extra scenes or director's cut content. Even so, the story in Halo 2 is still above the status quo almost three years later. As a direct port, Halo 2 for Windows Vista provides the same single and multiplayer modes as its Xbox predecessor, with a few notable additions. First, there's the brand new level editing tool, which allows gamers to create custom maps. Everything from textures to models is fair game, which is a bonus for mod enthusiasts itching to wage war on their own battlefields. The learning curve for the tools is a little high, but in exchange, you get a substantial amount of control over the details of a level. Then there's the reworking of the online interface for Vista users using Windows Live, the PC counterpart to Xbox Live. With this comes a varied mix of upsides and downsides. The Vista version of Halo 2 offers a more conventional approach to joining games with the ability to browse through an organized list of servers. PC gamers will be pleased to know that unlike Xbox Live Silver accounts, Windows Live Silver accounts are able to play online and use voice chat without paying extra. However, you'll need a gold account for some features, such as friend lists, true skill matchmaking, and gamer achievements, a new addition to the Vista version of Halo 2. Additionally, if you were hoping to play against your friends on the Xbox version, then you're out of luck. The game currently doesn't support cross-console connectivity, no matter what account type you have. As far as new content is concerned, players can only look forward to two new maps in multiplayer mode, one of which is a cutoff section of one of the levels in campaign mode. While the game still carries the same addictive fun the brand's been known for, meager offerings in the way of additional maps, and the limitation of the Silver account make the experience on Vista less than favorable. If you already have an Xbox Live Gold account, then the bonuses do carry over to Windows Live. But what Xbox owner waited three years to play Halo 2 on the PC? One of the new additions is the Tray and Play feature, which allows you to play while the game is still being installed. On our system, which scores well on the game's benchmarking tool, there's a bit of stuttering during the cinematics and some lag. Once the installation picks up momentum, it definitely improves, and it's a nifty feature that tries to emulate console gaming, but it's not perfect. The Halo series has always been known for its accessible controls, and this iteration is no different. First-person shooter fans will find the mouse and keyboard setup a perfect match for the game, and it also sports full compatibility with the Xbox 360 controller, complete with aim assist. All things considered, however, Halo 2 is still Halo 2. It still utilizes a rebounding shield, and it still has the same levels, maps, vehicles, weapons, and patented melee combat you fell in love with the first time. The game is still very much a solid shooting adventure, but it sold in the millions because it offered gameplay on the consoles that could not be matched. But on the PC, it's nothing exceptional. Halo 2's track record has been impeccable up to this point, but its first outing on the PC comes off as a little more than a ploy to get users to upgrade to Vista. 
Halo 2 is still one of the better console shooters, but on the PC, where standards are higher, it's not quite the standout. The second coming of Halo may have been a godsend to console gamers the first time around, but the re-emergence of Halo 2 on Windows Vista is nothing more than a tired port. Sorry, Chief.